Hi, in this video we're going to integrate f of x with respect to x from a to a, and in all of this we'll assume that we can actually integrate f of x, it's continuous, and everything is good. Solution. So to do this, um, we need to know um, what the integral of f of x is going to be. So we're going to let big F of x be an antiderivative of little f of x. So that basically means that the derivative of big F is equal to little f. So when you integrate little f, you're going to get big F, big f. So we have the integral from a to a of f of x dx. And this is equal to big f of x from a to a because big F is an antiderivative. And then you can plug in the a. So we get f of a subtract, right, the formula says subtract, and then plug in the a. So you just get zero, and so the answer is zero. So whenever you have a definite integral and the lower limit of integration is the same as the upper limit of integration, in other words, the limits of integration are the same, then you're always just going to get um, zero. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.